Hey everybody, today I'm going to be showing you the real reason how a string launcher works. Now these string launchers are pretty cool. They can make slow waves in the air and you can do a lot of cool physics with them. Now at first thought, the reason how they're working seems pretty straightforward. These wheels are spinning right here and it's throwing the string this way. You can see them start to spin. And so obviously the string lifts up, right? The string's being thrown that way and so it has to go out vertically so the whole string lifts up. But what if I told you that's not how it works? The reason the string lifts up in the air is actually due to the friction with the air in the room, not because the wheels are throwing it out that way. Now that's a pretty bold claim. What that means is that if I were to do this in a vacuum chamber, the string wouldn't lift up like this. It would just stay hanging down, even though the loop is still spinning. So why don't we try it out? Let's put this in the vacuum chamber and see if it can actually lift up when there's no air around it. Okay, so first let's start this off at atmospheric pressure. So I'm gonna turn up the voltage here. It easily rises at only four volts here. Okay, we're gonna leave it at three and a half volts here. Now I'm gonna turn on the vacuum. Three, two, one. So we're still turning at the same speed, but you can see the strings dropping now. Look at the shape change. It's no longer sticking straight out, but it's starting to hang down now. As the pressure drops more and more, it completely changes shape now. Look at it just hanging down completely now. So we're at a pretty good vacuum now. It's turning really quickly in there, but you can see it's just hanging down. Look at that. That's so weird. We're still at 3.5 volts, so it's turning the same speed, spinning really fast in there, but completely different shape, and the string can't lift itself up. Okay, now I'm gonna turn off the vacuum. I'm just gonna slowly lit in the air now. Look at it, as I lit in the air, the string rises. That is so weird. So the more drag I put on the string, the higher it can rise. That is so crazy. So we proved that it's actually air friction or drag of the string that's causing it to lift up in the air. But why would it do that? How does drag make it lift up? If you have a really heavy string, then it's going to be dominated by the weight of the string. So the string's gonna hang down like this. You can see this if I have a heavy rope and then rotate it really fast. Even though it's spinning really fast, it still just hangs down. That's because the dominant force is the weight of the string, so it's pulling it down, gravity keeps it down, and it doesn't rise. But if we have a light string like this that doesn't weigh very much, then we have another force at play, and that is the friction with the air. So as you start moving the string, the string has to flow through the air. And that flow through the air creates a little bit of tension on the string, so it pulls it a little bit tighter. When it's weight dominated, the tension in the string decreases as you go down in height. At the very bottom, there's no tension on it. And then it increases again as you get to the other side and go back up. But when the string doesn't weigh a lot and you're just dragging it through the air, that means the tension always increases the further around the loop you get. So what it does is it actually acts like there's something pulling it on this end because it's putting it under tension so it's like it's grabbing onto it over here. And also what that means is because the tensile force is lowest here and highest here, that means that if your string gets too long, you actually don't even have a tensile force here, but you have a compressive force. So the string buckles on itself. So if your string gets too long, 
there's a maximum height that it can get before it buckles and it can't rise up in the air like this. So let's try it again in the vacuum chamber pointing upward this time. And you'll see that when we don't have any drag force, it can't lift upward at all because there's no tensile force. So you can see that it's straight up in the air now. But now let's turn on the vacuum. Three, two, one. You can see it can't sustain it. It's collapsing on itself. So counterintuitively, when the string launcher is drag dominated, the string rises in the air. When it's weight dominated, it falls down. One thing to keep in mind here is the string launcher's ability to lift itself up in the air is also dependent on velocity. So the faster you spin it, the easier it is to lift itself up. But the reason that is, is because it's still dependent on drag force. So the faster you spin it, the more drag it has, the easier it can lift itself up. Before we end, I'd like to thank Keeps for sponsoring this video. Did you know that two out of three guys will experience hair loss by the time they're 35? Keeps offers clinically proven research-backed treatments to stop hair loss and improve your hair growth so you can keep your full head of hair. With Keeps, you don't even have to go to a doctor or pharmacy. All Keeps treatment plans are doctor recommended and delivered straight to your door at about half the cost of traditional pharmacies. And then once you get the product, you get 24-7 care and support with a full year of unlimited messaging with prescribing doctors anytime you need it. So remember, hair loss stops with Keeps. To get 50% off your first order, go to keeps.com slash the action lab or click the link in the description. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash the action lab. And thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. I hope you liked it. If you did, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet and hit the bell so you can be notified when I release my latest video. And check out my other channel, Action Lab Shorts, where I do videos similar to this channel, but I do them in less than a minute. And thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.